Informed, outspoken, wild, fearless. This is the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. What is up, my dudes? This is Trent. I am joined by Seth and Jordan. We got a little three man mock draft right now. Today's episode, we are going to, we got a 10 team mock draft. So we got some computers going, some PCs. And uh, actually, let's make this a 12. We'll make this a 12. You think that'd be a little bit better, Jordan? Or what do you think? Does that matter to you? I'm good with either one. Yeah. Doesn't matter I'm going to go 12, 12 team mock draft. We start right now, half point PPR. We're going to go eight rounds. And this is a, we have a QB, two running backs, two wide receivers, tight end, and two flex. So that, and we'll be pulling that up on the screen right now. Remember, guys, don't be rude. Share the dude. Today's episode is brought to you by our friends at Sleeper. Sleeper is the absolute best place to play fantasy football. Great place for mock drafts, all that good stuff. Head over to Sleeper, enter promo code DUDES100. They will match you up to $100, guys. So here we go. We're going to start the draft up. Now, got it over here on the screen. Head over to YouTube at TFF Dudes. Remember to give us that like and subscribe. Starting the draft right now. Team one, Jordan, no surprise. You know, I, I think that's a pretty basic one two punch right there, wouldn't you say? With uh, CMC, CD Lamb, and now me at three, right? You'd say that's pretty normal. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would say it's pretty normal. Okay. So pretty normal. And I am up now here. I think. I'm going to go Tyreek Hill. I'm going to go with the wide receivers. I'm going to go Tyreek Hill there at number three. I like getting those wide receivers half point PPR. Tyreek Hill was followed by Jamar Chase. Seth is on the clock now at one five. So this is what scares me here. Justin Jefferson, obviously we all know he's insane, right? As long as a quarterback can get him the ball, he's going to be good. But with how I think Jordan and I agree on JJ McCarthy, like I think that's put into little question, but also like, can you pass up value, but also, you know what St. Brown's going to do, and you mm-hmm. know the guy who got him the ball last year. So I think I got to go St. Brown here. All right. All right. St. Brown followed by A.J. Brown. Now Jordan is on the clock. Very wide receiver heavy. Plenty of running backs still there, Jordan. Kind of what are you thinking here at the moment? Kind of like in no man's land right here, honestly. Oh, Pers- I, I don't personally. Love it, I, like, I like I like Bijan here, but that's just me. I know you're not a huge Bijan guy, but I think I personally. actually prefer Bijan over Brees. So I think I'm gonna go Bijan. I don't love. I feel like I'm reaching on everything else here, so I'll go Bijan. All right, Bijan followed by Puka Nakua, which seems extremely early. Garrett Wilson at ten, Brees Hall at eleven, Jonathan Taylor at twelve, Jameer Gibbs. At 2-1, Kyron Williams at 2-3, Devontae Adams at 2-3, Saquon at 2-4. Seems a little early, Jordan, to me, personally. And now you're back up on the clock. What is? What do you think was the biggest reach right there, guys? Jordan has two minutes. I can always I think, pause the draft. But what are you thinking, Seth, while well, Jordan's ta- thinking here? I like Gibbs, but that seems so high. At 2-1? Yeah, I don't know if I trust that yet. I don't. I don't know. Like I think I think the the Lions are gonna have to be really, really good to support all these guys. Mm-hmm. Like, Jordan, I don't know what if you th- the touchdowns are there for Gibbs. I could I mean I could be completely wrong. I probably am, but still. Yeah. Kyron Williams, you know, I, everybody seems a little gun shy on him right now with uh the signing of uh man, what's the Blake Corum? Mm-hmm. But I still think he's be pretty good. Um, what are you thinking here, Jordan? I, I've I'm not a huge say. I'm, I'm, I'm going back and forth right now with my draft, my pick. I'm going back and forth between Drake London and Chris Alave. I I have them like ranked right next to each other. Um, I'm gonna stick with my rankings. I'm gonna go Alave here. It's really close okay. for me okay. though. All right, Alave followed by Marvin Harrison Jr. Going at the seven, is that what is that seven six? Then Drake London at seven seven. Seth is on the clock here. I can't make myself want to take Marvin Harrison that yeah. early. Looking at the board here, what other wide receivers do we have left? Uh, Brandon Ayuk, which is kind of an awkward spot right now, ADP wise. Sam Laporta, Josh Allen, Travis Etienne, Devin A. Chain. I feel like this is, like you said, Jordan, no man's land. It definitely feels like that. Yeah, man. It's telling me to draft 
Ayuk is the 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 number one guy to go here, but I feel like all these other guys I'm reaching on here. Is it too early to go like Mike Evans here? Like, does that just I, seem wild? Well, I'm seeing right here a lot of the the top some of the top receivers are the Houston guys. You have Diggs and Nico Collins. You know, I'll say Nico Collins here. I'm not sure about Stefan Diggs yet. All right, so I went Nico Collins. Sam Laporta. Now I'm back up on the clock. I have Tyreek Hill. Jordan, what do you think about Nico right there? Like, I, I just don't know what to think about the Texans wide receivers yeah. at the moment. I'm uh, I'm lower on the Texans wide receivers, I think, than the field and the rest of the industry, just because I think there's just a big cluster there. Like, I don't really know how to figure out what the order is, who, the, what, you know, like where the target's going to go. There's just a lot of unknown. A lot of unknown. And, like, I think CJ Stroud's good, but there's just a ton of unknown there with what the what the target, like, order is going to look like. I don't know. It's a big cluster mm -hmm. there, I think. All right. I have Tyreek Hill. I don't really love anyone here at this back end of the second round. I'm actually going to go with Josh Allen here, I think. I, I still mm -hmm. like Josh Allen. I like the rushing upside. I like... uh I think he's still getting a lot of red zone carries. Take the first quarterback off the board. That always feels really like not something you like doing. I'm a big believer in Josh Allen this year. He was followed by Travis Etienne, Brandon Ayuk at 212, Devin Achan at 3-1, Debo Samuel at 3-2. I'm back at the back on the clock at 3-3. Three, three. I don't love any of the running backs. I like Henry. I don't know if I want to go that or I'm going to go Mike Evans with touchdown upset. I'm not loving my draft right now, guys. I'm being honest. Uh, Stefan Diggs was followed after Mike Evans. And then I like this pick right here. Seth with. If you can get Travis Kelsey in the third round, I think that's a steal. Why is Malik Neighbors going so high? It makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. I can't, I can't get on that train. Man, I, I, I'm not liking these drafts right now. You know what? Oh, man, I'm going to go with Jalen Waddle. I, I don't know. Am I missing Man's something with one. Waddle here, Trent? Like, why why is he ADP so low here? What am I, I, I think missing? Everyone, I think everyone is just worried about Waddle last year, just kind of the how he fell back a little bit. Are people worried about Tua? Is that what people don't like? Are they thinking I that think what Tua they're worried can't... about is the Dolphins running the ball? Like, the Dolphins yeah. are going to run the ball a decent amount. They're going to run the ball more this year. Okay. And that's why yeah. he got less work last year. Think about that. They ran the ball a lot more with three True. guys, two guys, and they threw the ball less. And most of the time they threw the ball, went to Tyreek. So that's the reason why. Do they have Odell Beckham there now too? Like, is it kind of, did they get any other off season guys? Like, I'm not worried about Odell Beckham there, but like, I think they're running. I don't I mean, like HM. But every every going. wide receiver around here, like DJ Moore, Michael Pittman, Jalen Waddle, like they all have guys they're competing with. Yeah. So I mean, I'm just gonna go Waddle here. I think he might have the highest upside. Smart. So all right. Waddle followed by Michael Pittman, Derek Henry, DJ Moore, Isaiah Pacheco. Then we go into the fourth round, Holy Patrick cow. Mahomes at 4-1, Lamar Jackson at 4-2, CJ Stroud at 4-3, Jalen Hurts at 4-4. Four, four. Going on a quarterback run right here, four in a row. Jordan, are you going to go quarterback yet, or what are you thinking no, here? This is easy I, for me. I think Cooper Cup is just like a great, easy, great yeah. value there. Okay. Okay, so Jordan went with Cooper Cup at four or five. I do that is good value, Jordan. I think that's the right price to pay for him. He went one, two, three, three rounds after Puka. I, I like it, and I, think I just don't. I don't understand. Like, <laughs> the we talked about this on this pod, but like the difference is too wide. It's just too mm -hmm. wide of a difference between the two of them. All right, I'm not understanding this either, though. Maybe. Maybe next time in my draft, I do this differently, but I think maybe I can take Tank Dell here. I'm not going to, obviously, because I have Nico Collins, but I think if you can get Tank Dell, I don't know, was this the fourth round? Like somewhere in the fourth round, I think that's a good pick. So I think that guy has the potential to be the number one yeah. wide receiver there. Because um, in my opinion, if he didn't get hurt, I think he does better than Nico Collins does. Um, so 
Right now, Seth, you have a modern St. Brown, you have Nico Collins and Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I so need you have a, no running backs. Back. Mm -hmm. So I think it's telling me to take Rashad White. Um, but I do like some of these other guys here. Alvin Kamara does interest me. But I don't know if I'm willing. I think, yeah, I'm not sure if that's something I'm willing to take a stab at just yet. So I think I'm going to go Rashad White here. Okay, Rashad White, followed by T. Higgins. I am back up. I need a running back. I need, yeah, I'm going to go here with the running back. Man. It gets, Trent, it gets you can play four here. wide receivers in this thing, though. So, like, you don't yeah, necessarily yeah. need a running back. Yeah, I still have to have two, though, but you're right. No, I know. Um, I'll go DK Metcalf. Go, go with the name value right here. I feel like I have, like, yeah. So DK Metcalf, I have Tyreek Hill, Josh Allen, Mike Evans, DK Metcalf. He, DK was followed by at 411 by James Cook, Trey McBride, Kenneth Walker, Joe Mixon. Now I'm up right here. And I could, like you said, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go Tank Dell. Tank Dell at the 5 3 pick. It's followed by Aaron Jones at 5 4. Seth, you're back up here. Like you said, there is that possibility that Tank Dell could you know, be the number one guy there, Seth, which I, yeah, I think agree with. I think like, that's like a good mid round target. I think that's a guy I'm going to be targeting hard mid round. And the guy I'm going to pick right now is also going to guy I'm going to be targeting later in the draft. And it's Alvin Kamara. If you can get this guy as your second running back or even your first, like in the fifth round, I think it's a pretty good pick. All right. Kenneth or sorry, Alvin Kamara. Followed by Anthony Richardson, the fifth, Zay Flowers at 5'7. Jordan's backup. Jordan has Cooper Cup, Jalen Waddle, Christian Alave. Why do I always say Christian Alave? Chris Alave, B. John Robinson. Um, I I well, I don't like Deshaun Watson at all. I I just think that Amari Cooper, with what he did last year, and I just feel like he, he's pretty good value where we're getting him. So I, I'm slightly pref I'm gonna go with Amari Cooper. Mari Cooper followed by Dalton Kincaid, James Conner, George Pickens, Kyle Pitts. I was really wanting Kincaid in this draft. I guess I waited a little too long. Sixth round, Roma Dunze, followed by Keenan Allen, Christian Kirk at 6'3", Rashi Rice at 6'4". Seems uh, that is the first Chiefs wide receiver off the board, Jordan. Uh, and still get Marquise Hollywood Brown. Um, yeah. You have one running back. You don't have a quarterback yet, Jordan. We have three more picks. You have three more picks. Yeah, so I'm going to go with... I'm going to take Burrow here. I think we get a Burrow bounce back here. Joe Bummer, Burrow in the six. There. Followed okay. by Jordan Addison, George Kittle. Seth's on the clock. He has a Monra St. Brown, Nico Collins, Travis Kelsey, Rashad White, and Alvin Kamara. Remember, check this out on YouTube, guys, at TFF Dudes. Watch the whole draft. Don't have to just listen to it. Give us a like. Give us a sub. Remember, don't be rude. Share the dudes. And uh, while Seth's picking here right now, here's a little Lego set he's been working on right here if you want to check that out. Nice little cat Lego. Really proud of him for making this thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, go check it out on YouTube, guys. I, man, I, feel, I hate taking Dak right here, but I'm going to do it. I Dak in the sixth round, probably not terrible. Like, I think that's yeah, I just if you think like, he can I bounce like, back, right? I feel like Dak just has, like, really good games, and he's not, like, consistent. Like, he has big games, and then, and then a big game, and then a... You know, like I don't always appreciate that about a player, but all right. I have three more picks. I need a tight end. I need two running backs. Something I really like right here, though, guys, is I really like uh I like Terry McLaurin this late in drafts. I think that's pretty good. Uh running backs. My running back options right now are David Montgomery. I have Ramondra Stevenson, Tony Pollard. Najee Harris, Raheem Mostert, Samir White, Nick Chubb, Javante Williams. Uh, I don't love any of it. I Nick Chubb's got to shoot up on the ADP board, right? He's got to start bouncing up. I'm gonna go. You would think, I'm gonna go with, but you would think so. I'm gonna go with Najee after what all they're saying about him in camp right now. How much they like him? Don't like that as my Trent, number one. Trent is back. a sucker for coach speak, man. I am Trent's absolute a sucker for sucker. it. Followed by David. Would you have taken David Montgomery there, Jordan? 
No, I got someone I'm taking. Okay, David no Montgomery, Xavier Worthy at 612, followed by Terry McLaurin at 71, Evan Ingram at 72. I'm kind of here in the same spot. Let's go with uh I'm gonna go here with everybody's everybody's sleeper this year. I'm gonna go with Samir White here in the seventh round. And so he was followed by Ramondre Stevenson. Seth's back on the clock. Seth right now has uh, Rashid White, Alvin Kamara, Dak Prescott, Travis Kelsey, Nico Collins, Amon St. Brown. What are you thinking here, Seth? You do have a tight end. You can you can kind of do whatever you want here, Seth. I can. That's the problem. There's no rules. Oh man. Um. I don't I don't know how I feel about the Green Bay offense. I don't know which monster it'll be at the receiver who takes the bulk of the stuff. Like obviously we know Christian Watson's a freak. He got hurt and then kind of Jaden Reed sort of took over and it's it seems like it's being projected as he's gonna take over. So I'll just take the risk and and take Jaden Reed. All right, Jaden Reed, followed by Tony Pollard, Jonathan Brooks in the seventh round. Jordan, you're back on the clock. You have Bijan. All right. Chris Alave, Jalen Waddle, Cooper Cup, Mari Cooper, Joe Burrow. You have two more picks. What what is our where are we at overall here? Um you, you're in the seventh I, I don't round. Wanna, I wanna make sure I wanna make sure this guy goes to me. This is my this is my dude this year. Austin, Austin, Austin Eckler. Eckler. Austin Eckler, followed by Chris Godwin, Calvin Ridley, David Njoku, DeAndre Hopkins, Nick Chubb, Raheem Mostert. Brock Bowers in the eighth, Javante Williams in the eighth, eight four. Jordan, your backup last pick. Man, I yeah, should go with man. Ferguson seems man. Ferguson or Goddard? That's a tough one. Hawkinson just seems crazy here, but like name value wise, but I just I can't. JJ McCarthy, I can't do it. Like I just can't. I can't take any Sam Donald some credit, man. If you told me Darnold was going to start the whole year, then I'd probably take uh, Hawkinson. But like, I just don't see it. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Ferguson, a little younger. Okay, Ferguson followed by Kyler Murray, then Zach Moss at eight seven. Seth, you're back up. Man, third round is tough, man. Uh, man, I have no Jordan. I'm kind of shocked Jordan took a running back in the first round. Does that shock anyone else? Oh, who did this guy come from? <laughs> he, Who's he's that? Not on the, he's, sorry, he's, sorry, he's not on. He's not on the pod, Seth. He's in the lobby. Oh, interesting. Okay. Wait, no, I'm on. No, he's pod. on Trent. On. This is, this is, oh, he's on, on Trent. Yeah, now he is on. No, he's just over, don't, don't pull me into YouTube. I, we would get way too many views if you shared my face. <laughs> Keep oh, going, man. Seth. Okay, let's see. I always thought um, you had the face for radio, honestly. <laughs> what do you always say about yourself? You have the body walking downhill. Body made for walking downhill. <laughs> I was made for walking downhill. I never have I'm said my body. I'm going to Keon Coleman yet. here. Hey, that's I kind of like that, Seth. That's kind of sneaky right there. I wanted to I was to say who has the, the best draft so far. I think it's Seth. As painful it is to watch him draft, I think it is Seth. Man, Titan gets rough. I'm, seems pretty good to me, though. I'm going to go upside here, and I'm just going to go tight end. Like, how do you pass on TJ Hawkinson here? You know, like what you said, Jordan, it's not fun to do. I'm I'm between Luke Musgrave and TJ Hawkinson. I think I'm just gonna go TJ Hawkinson. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. All right. TJ Hawkinson, followed by Caleb Williams. Mr. Relevant in this draft was Brock Purdy at 812, although we only went eight rounds. Jordan, like what pick did you do that you hated the most? Jalen Waddle in the third round. I, I I hate my third round pick. Like I like Mike Evans. I think I'm gonna go probably Najee Harris in the six. I wish I would have taken uh I probably should have taken Travis Etienne in the second over Josh Allen. I think I could have got Josh Allen in the third. That's probably my worst pick. I don't like that I got Dak. I was hoping that Joe Burrow would fall to me. Maybe I should have took him earlier, but also I mean 
I get, I, I'm surprised Anthony Richardson was what the sixth quarterback. Yeah, the thing that I probably don't like about your draft, Seth, is I just Nico Collins seems like too much unknown to me. Do you yeah, agree with that, that, Jordan? That, I think so. Well, we had all three Houston receivers go in, in the first five rounds. Like, I, I don't know how. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's possible, but I, I don't know if I see it. Do they think they mm-hmm. only just throw the ball there a ton? I think that's what people are thinking. But, uh, all right. I mean, who, any... who's the new running back they have? They have a new running back, right? It's Mixon. Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon. Yeah, I mean, he's going to get the ball. Mm-hmm. And Schultz is still there, and there's a tight end who's involved. So I don't know. Yeah, I, and you I have Mechie, take... and you have Mechie, and uh, who, who's probably going to be involved, right? At some, uh, at least in a, a little bit. You you would think so, right? And Noah Brown's still there. Like they still have dudes there, like a bunch of guys, mm-hmm. like six six guys who can catch the football. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. Well, I think that kind of does it, guys. Anything else we want to touch on here with this mock draft? We want to say, you know, so it's kind of our first real mock draft of the season. I think we'll get better. Uh, still some wacky ADPs on there. So those should be changing a little bit. Like Malik Neighbors in the third just seems absurd to me. Marvin Harrison at 2-6. I think he's going to stay there all year. I, I don't, you know I don't I think mean? that one's Yeah, bad. he will. He's, he's going to stay there. I don't think he's going to move too much. But all right, guys, that does it. We will see you later this week. Remember, like, subscribe. Remember, don't be rude. Share the dudes. And as always, take care. This has been another episode of the Fantasy Football Dudes podcast. Remember to rate, review, and follow. For more information, go to www.thefantasyfootballdudes.com. And remember, we are sorry for absolutely nothing.